Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today I'm just doing a little vlog um, around the house. It is Tuesday. So far, it's been kind of like a same old, same old type of day. You know, wake up, work out, get dressed, work. You know, I work remotely. And then, yeah, that's basically where I'm at <laughs> at this point in the day. So yeah, I don't really have too much going on, but I am doing some cooking. I just made a matcha milk tea with boba at home, <laughs> which is something that I've never done before. But you know, the place I like to get my matcha from, um, or like my boba, my milk tea or whatever, they've been closed. I don't know if they're doing like a remodel or something but yeah i was like let me try and make it myself so i did um order some tapioca or like boba pearls off of amazon and i just finished the drink it was really good yeah i will insert a little bit of footage right now of me making my mo my boba it was literally like 30 minutes ago that i made it and i'll insert that footage here so i got this from amazon i literally just got it in the mail today and I hope it's good. So it's my first time making boba at home. We will see how it turns out. So it says cover it on medium high heat for like two to three minutes. We'll do two. I have no idea how this is gonna come out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It says to drain it and then put it into cold water for 20 seconds. Y'all, this is a lot of work um but we're gonna try it so it says like scoop it out and drain it i don't know if i can just go like this okay i need my hands i'll be back all right so i'm letting it soak and then it says to put it into a dry bowl i mean the consistency is pretty good um i'm gonna just add brown sugar i'm just gonna mix in some brown sugar Y'all, I cannot believe that I'm making this at home. This is nuts. <laughs> so I make my matcha really easy. Um, I just mix a teaspoon of matcha powder with three ounces of water. And I use my frother, my milk frother, and I just mix it together. All right, let's see how it tastes. <laughs> this angle is terrible, but we're just gonna try the, try the matcha. It got stuck on the straw. The boba tastes really good. I just need to sweeten the drink. I didn't add any maple because I wasn't sure if the brown sugar from the boba would be sweet enough, but it is not. I'm gonna just add a teaspoon of maple syrup to sweeten the actual drink. But y'all, this belt, the boba tastes really good, like the tapioca. I just feel like I need a bigger straw. I have like smoothie straws, but the boba's getting stuck, so. Ciao. I was almost choked. <laughs> Aside from that, today I am making a white chicken chili. It's my first time making that, but honestly, I've just been wanting to kind of switch up my meals a little bit. I can get really mundane and eat the same stuff over and over and over again, but I've been more interested in trying new things, trying new recipes. Um, and I also got a little bit of footage of me making that as well. So the chicken that I'm gonna be using is from Whole Foods. It's boneless, skinless chicken thighs. I'm going to start off with mincing up some fresh garlic. And I have this little 
food processor that I got from Amazon and it's cordless. It's small and it's perfect for mincing up things like garlic and onion. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it up into a little bowl. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the onion. Um, I will have the recipe linked below. I'm literally following the recipe, so I don't have to like provide measurements and all that. It will be linked below. And yeah, I just went ahead and did the onion as well. I don't really use this food processor that often, but I really should because it makes, <laughs> you know, mincing and dicing and everything so much easier. So now I'm just going to saute it and cook it down a little bit on the stove, starting with the onion and then adding the garlic in. And y'all, this is my first time making white chicken chili, so I'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out. Honestly, I don't know where I got the idea from. It just popped in my head and I was like, that sounds pretty good. So all the seasonings that are in the recipe, I just put into a little uh, a little glass bowl and I just poured it in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the onion and the garlic as well. And then also some chili peppers, green peppers. I don't know y'all, this is what the recipe said and I've never cooked with that before, so that was new. And then I'm just gonna add some chicken broth so that it can cook in the crock pot. So this is like phase one of, you know, the whole crock pot part, just cooking the chicken. So right now I'm gonna leave it in for a total of four hours and I'll kind of like come back a little bit later in the video and show y'all what I do next, but I did leave it in for four hours on high. And then also the recipe said like to drain and rinse the beans and to also blend up some of the beans to use later as a thickener. So that's the first, I've never done that before, but yeah, I just blended this up and just put it into the fridge to use a little bit later. So before I get into the rest of the vlog, I do want to thank Faithful Counseling for sponsoring today's video. So essentially they are an online Christian counseling service in which you can get your Christian counseling from the comfort of your own home. Signing up is very quick, very easy. It takes all of like 10 to 15 minutes to fill out the questions and get matched with a licensed Christian counselor in your state. And for me personally, Christian counseling is my preference. I have not gone to like a more secular counselor before, but I just feel like it's important for me to meet with somebody who understands my worldview. Um, <laughs> so like, you know, if I was doing some counseling and they start talking about some other stuff and, you know, uh, increasing my vibrations, I would be like, what is you talking about? Like. I need you to suggest <laughs> some the prayer, you know, like <laughs> something a little bit more in tune with who I am as a person. So if that's kind of how you are and you want to try counseling or try, you know, finding somebody who is like minded and also Christian, I would definitely recommend faithful counseling. I feel like even after the pandemic is over, people might still opt for virtual therapy. It's just so much easier. You don't have to worry about going through traffic and trying to get to somebody's office. You literally can just log on, make a phone call, you know, whatever works for you. So I will have a link down below for you to check them out, which is faithfulcounseling.com slash Leah, in which you can get 10% off your first month. So yeah, like I said, I'm making a white chicken chili. Let me show y'all what it looks like at this point. So this is what we're working with right now. It smells so good. It smells really good. I'm really excited about this. Like I said, it's my first time making it. It's been in the crock pot for like, uh, like two hours at this point. So the chicken needs to cook for two hours and then I'll go back and add some of the additional ingredients. But I'm really looking forward to it. Just trying to make some new things, be a little bit more creative with what I'm cooking and what I'm eating, just so that I'm not eating the same stuff all the time. So aside from kind of like cooking and working, I do need to edit my vlog from DC. At this point, we've been back from DC over a week and I have not edited the vlog yet. Y'all, I have just been so tired. And like, honestly, sometimes I am not in the mood for like the whole content creator stuff. So this past week, I did not edit any video. <laughs> I did not 
film any videos. I was just doing like my regular life stuff, like working, exercising, cooking, cleaning, being a wife, you know, taking care of myself and just really being in tune with what I need and just my general needs. And I'm sharing this because, you know, social media can make it seem like people are on 10 every single day or people are super consistent every single day. And, you know, there are people who are like that and that's awesome for them, but I'm not one of those people. Like just as a woman with a menstrual cycle, every single week or every single day, I do not feel the exact same. Like at the beginning of my cycle, I have the most energy, I can get the most done. And if I'm being forward thinking, I would batch film content at that time. And then sometimes in the latter half of my cycle, I could be more tired, um, a little bit more moody, you know, like just not as talkative. And I try to honor that as well. So yeah, last week I didn't really do much. I did have to uh, do a photo for Eddie Bauer for a partnership, but they're super easy to work with. And that was not challenging. But aside from that, I honestly try to honor my body because becoming burnt out is so easy. And I have experienced burnout, just pushing myself further than I really need to. And honestly, y'all, I have been creating content online, you know, on YouTube and all that for years, almost, I don't know, eight years. And at this point, I really don't care about the algorithm. I don't care about keeping up with all that. I try, but honestly, my mental health comes first and I cannot afford to burn out. So yeah, this past week, I really just did a lot more things that I personally wanted to do. Um, so like I really wanted to cook more. So I made like a turkey meatloaf from scratch. I made a tamale pie, which is essentially like cornbread and a beef uh, type of mixture. I'll put the recipe below for both because I always find recipes for the things that I make. I don't know, I'm not at the point where I really just make things from scratch that are new. That would be very bizarre if I could just create things in my mind like that. But um, <laughs> maybe after I like make these things more and more, I can like finesse it on the fly, but no. So I'll put the recipes down below. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm an introvert at the end of the day. So I don't always have stuff to say, or I don't, you know, I don't always wanna come on here talking if I ain't got nothing to say. So I'm sharing this, just to encourage the person out there that might feel bad that every single day they're not feeling the exact same. It's normal, like hormones fluctuate and it's okay to not be chipper. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Y'all, I really crack my, how oh, I crack myself up before I even say it. It's okay to not be chipper Chelsea every single day. It is all right. Do not put unrealistic expectations on yourself that nobody even told you you have to meet. Now, obviously, if your job requires you to like pump it up a little bit, okay, you know, do that. But for me, I don't have to do that with social media. I can't, like there has to be healthy boundaries for me or I literally can't do it, not at this point. Maybe years ago, I would have like pushed and pushed and like, yeah, I gotta do this, da da da. But at this point, no, I don't care. I don't care about the algorithm. I'm literally just want a life that is peaceful, happy and whole outside of social media. So if for a week it has to go, it's got to go. So yeah, I'm still not feeling like 100%, but honestly today I'm doing some things that I thought might be a little bit more interesting. Um, so I thought I'd be willing to share. Um, but yeah, more recently I've been wanting to cook and y'all know I like to bake, but yeah, I've just been wanting to cook new things. I think it might also be because the weather is getting cooler. You know, chili is like a cold weather staple. The tamale pie honestly reminds me of something that my aunt used to make when she would come watch us when my parents would go out of town, um, like when they would go on vacation. And yeah, you know, Corey works a lot and he's very busy and I love being able to greet him with a nice homemade meal when he comes home. I know that sounds like, <laughs> I'm not the most like domesticated woman, okay? But I like a home cooked meal myself, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, 
the more that I cook and the more that I learn, cooking from scratch is not that hard. I truly, truly always thought it was way harder than it actually is. It's really not that hard. Um, it's just a matter of knowing what you're doing. So in my case, finding recipes, following it and being willing to try again if it doesn't work out well. But I made cornbread from scratch for the first time with my um, tamale pie thing and it was really easy. So yeah, uh, this past weekend, Corey made biscuits and gravy from scratch. He called his granddad and got his homemade biscuit recipe and it was his first time making biscuits and y'all them biscuits was bussin'. <laughs> The people still say bussin'. They was bussin', bussin'. <laughs> Those biscuits were so good. And that gravy, I requested a sausage gravy. I don't even be eating biscuits and gravy like that, so I don't know where my request came from. But I requested a, a sausage-based gravy, and y'all, it was so good. I cannot wait till Corey makes that again. He, he could throw it out. Don't get it twisted. He might be, you know, all prim and proper, but he's from the South and he can throw down. <laughs> so yeah, it was so good. Um, but yeah, I feel like for the holidays upcoming season, I'm just gonna be cooking more things, baking more things like that. I love doing that when the weather gets cooler. Um, so yeah, right now I need to go edit the DC vlog because I've been running from that thing. It's so long. <laughs> like I have over an hour of footage to edit. I feel like it takes me double the amount of footage I have in time to edit, if that makes sense. So I have like an hour of footage to edit. It's gonna take me two hours to do it. So today I told myself I'm going to edit and I'm also going to film. And that is it. <laughs> and later this week, if I wanna do more, I can. I didn't wanna take two weeks off from creating content so i'm i'm giving y'all the best i got today but honestly at the end of the day like i want y'all to be encouraged to honor your body do not become burnt out because you're trying to keep up with others do not try to do not allow yourself to get burnt out for no reason i would recommend you to really honor yourself do you know but that's a completely different perspective than what a lot of people share these days where it's like go 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 you know it, it'll pay off later and blah 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 that's just not how i operate not at this point your girl be tired so guess what i get eight hours of sleep i get nine hours if i need it um i make sure i'm drinking my water like you got to make sure that you're taking care of yourself because at the end of the day you come first if you are not good you can't you can't really produce good things okay like i definitely believe in the you cannot pour from an empty cup thing so i will be creating a bible study for y'all but i gotta get there right i gotta get there and i don't want to be like rushed you know so it'll come but i can't guarantee when but uh yeah i'm still in the thinking phase like what topic do i really feel like god is putting on me to share you know because i hate the idea hate is a strong word and i truly hate the idea of stepping out and calling yourself and not being called by god and i know that god has blessed me with this platform but i want to make sure that whatever i talk about is something that i really believe that i am passionate about and what i think would be helpful to others so yeah that is why i'm speaking about balance because you can't you can do it all but you don't have to you really don't like the dc vlog going up this week versus last week it doesn't really make a difference and i hope that y'all see me and y'all see somebody who was willing to go against the grain go against the algorithm maybe not make the most money from social media just somebody who was just you know a little just trying to operate with integrity honesty and authenticity because i'm not that type of person and i'm not knocking people who are like that because i definitely believe that you should be authentic to you but i am not like that so i'm not going to force myself to be something that i'm not do y'all know how exhausting it is to pretend to be something that you're not People be tired because they're trying to be something that they're not like honor yourself. So anyways, let me know down below if you would consider yourself to be an introvert or an extrovert. 
I'm definitely an introvert. Like sometimes I just don't have nothing to say. Um, but I can be extroverted with people that I'm very close with. So like my mom, my sister, cousins, friends, Corey, his family, like I can really get there. Like I might not want to talk, but then, you know, maybe his sister calls us and we could talk for like an hour. So it really depends. But I would say I'm mostly an introvert, but I can be extroverted. <laughs> and if you know me, I'm definitely extroverted with you. Yeah. Let me know if y'all are like that as well. So I know that was a lot, but I essentially just wanted to explain why I might not post every single week. So it's, it's a luxury I have given myself to not feel the need to have to keep up with everybody else on social media, keep up with the algorithm and just honor myself and honor my body and to avoid burnout. So yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> All right, so it's been four hours and the chicken is completely cooked. So I'm going to remove it from the crock pot and shred it and then add it back into the crock pot in a little bit. I like to use a food thermometer because it helps me to ensure that my food is cooked. I'm not the type of person who can just eyeball it. If I see any bit of pinkness at all, I'm like, this is not done. So a food thermometer helps me to not overcook my food. And I always just Google like, what is the internal temperature for chicken or whatever. And right here, I'm just adding some cream cheese and mixing that in. Right now, we're just kind of working on the consistency of the actual like chili aside from the chicken I guess like the broth I don't know y'all I'm not a cook but right now I'm just adding the bean paste that I made earlier in here to kind of thicken it up and I did add two cups of corn but I went back later and added the whole bag because I just felt like I needed more corn and your girl loves corn so that is what I did and now I'm just adding in some more beans and yeah just giving it a good stir and now since the chicken is all shredded i'm gonna go back and add that back into the crock pot so that we can keep working on this chili y'all this chili is way more time consuming than i thought when i think about a crock pot dish i think it's gonna be set it and forget it i'll see you later no y'all i was bad like i never left <laughs> and this is not the easiest crock pot meal you guys did a lot of work for this chili but I hope that it's gonna be good. So now I'm just gonna add some cornstarch because some beans did not thicken it the way I needed it to be thickened if you catch my drift. So y'all, it's been a long day. <laughs> so y'all gonna get this sense of humor, even if it's dry, even if y'all don't laugh. I'm laughing and it's funny. So anyways, so just mixing it up, trying to work on the consistency because don't nobody want no runny chili. I need you to thicken up, thicken up. It's the winter time. Well, actually it's fall. Anyway, so I'm adding some seasoned salt. Do y'all call it seasoned or seasoning? I low key really call it seasoning salt, but I'm trying to do better. And then I'm gonna add some black pepper. At this point, I'm a little off script. Nothing in the recipe said to use seasoned salt, but I just couldn't help myself. So I'm gonna add some um, more beans in. I added more beans than the recipe called for. I basically use a recipe and just kind of add whatever I feel like is necessary. And more often than not, I feel like things need some more salt. So I try not to do too much with the salt, but sometimes things need salt. And right now I'm just adding in some washed cilantro and just going to add that in right there. Get in there cilantro. Let's do this. And then I'm going to give it a nice little mix. And yeah, this is basically it oh no there's one more step i have to juice half of a lime but after juicing like this half i realized I needed more lime so i did a whole lime and this really did just help the flavors to just come out and pop up out of that crock pot and that is it for this recipe hey y'all so i'm back it's the end of the work day oh that chili was so time consuming like you would think it wouldn't be because it's like a crock pot meal but it was time consuming because i don't know a lot of those steps took a lot of time but you know it's behind me now i feel like i used way more chicken than the recipe said like i think i used like three pounds of chicken like y'all we had so much chicken Corey's probably going to be starving by the time he gets home so um 
he can go ham on that. I don't know how many days it's gonna last us. That might just freeze some of it, so we have some for another day. But it smells really good, tastes really good. I would recommend it. I have cheddar cheese that I'm gonna put on top and tortilla strips. I've edited like the majority of the video, but I need to go back tomorrow and make a, I need to just make another pass through it tomorrow. I showed a lot of the food that we ate when we were in DC and I wanna go back and put the name of the restaurants so that if y'all go to DC, you know um, what we would recommend. And yeah, Corey's on his way home and we're just gonna eat dinner, probably like watch TV and chill. By the time he comes home, he typically just wants to relax. He's been in meetings all day, super busy, and he just wants to eat and unwind. Oh, really quick, I wanted to show you these two bags that I got from Zara. All right, so this is the first one. It's like a, it's not really a mini bag, it's just a small bag, and it has like a top handle. I really like it. It's very cute, um, and it's like has a magnetic closure. It has a gold chain that you can take off um, and remove. And then it also comes with a strap that is just the green color. I think this will be really cute. You can wear it like, let me just show y'all real quick. Okay, so you can wear it crossbody style like this, or you can wear it on your shoulder, or you can wear it as just a handbag. And I just think it's very versatile and very cute. I love this color. I feel like it's so rich and beautiful. It kind of looks like teal on camera, but it's more of like a deep forest green. So the other bag that I got is this rich chocolate brown shoulder bag. I haven't worn this one yet. And it also has like a magnetic closure. This is how it looks on the inside. And it also has this chunky brass gold strap that you can also remove. And I felt like this was really cute. This color is so beautiful. It's like a rich chocolate brown, but it has like a maroon undertone. I contemplated on this bag so much because the chain is a little out there for my style. But y'all, I just decided to get it because I kept thinking about it. So I think it's really cute. Which one is your favorite? Like, which one are you leaning towards more? Between the two, I feel like I would get more use out of the green one. I've already worn it, but let me know. So when it comes to handbags, at this point, I don't really wanna spend too much money on them. So I find that Zara has like some really cute bags that are not too expensive. Um, this brown one was $50 and I think that the green one was $50 as well, but the quality is really nice and I like to have some options. I don't really do too much in my style. So like handbags are a nice way for me to add like pops of color, but I would not want to invest in like a super, super expensive pop of color bag. Not in this season. Whenever I go to Zara, I always check out their bags. Oh, and I also got like some new pillows for the couch, super random. They're not much different than the other pillows. I had teal before, but I switched it out for like these velvety blue, navy blue pillows and I got these from Home Goods. I'm just waiting on Corey at this point, honestly. <laughs> but I did wanna show y'all the bags because I thought they were super, super cute. Um, I got some new stuff for fall, but like I've been saying, y'all, I've just been chilling, tired. <laughs> But really quick, I will show you one other thing. The last thing I will show y'all is these boots. I got these and I think these are just considered Chelsea boots. But yeah, I got these from, who's calling me? My sister's calling me y'all and I haven't talked to her for a while. So I'm gonna talk to her really quick. But the Chelsea boots are from Ann Taylor and I really like them. Hello? Okay, so I just got off the phone with my sister, but I was gonna show y'all these shoes that I got. These are like leather Chelsea boots that I got from Ann Taylor, and I really like them. They're so like different for me. It's not the sort of like shoe that I would typically wear, but I've been having a lot of fun styling them with like leggings and like chunky sweaters. 
essentially what I have on now is like leggings and like a chunky sweater. And I think that this would go really well with this outfit. Just fun, you know, trying some new things. I have bought like a few other outfits and stuff for fall, but y'all can see them like as I post them on Insta. H&M has a lot of good pieces as well. What I like about them is that their clothes are not super pricey. So you can really just try new things. But Zara has some cute pieces too, if you got a little bit, a little bit more money to spend. You ready to eat? Yeah, I actually am. How's it look? It looks pretty good. It smells uh, kind of peppery. I like that. <laughs> I did put some ground pepper on here. So do you want a lot or a little? I figure you can get more than one serving. Yeah, I'll so I figure we should use serving. a bowl instead of like, because I wanted to keep it heat, you know? Yeah, what would be the alternative? Like those... The flat ones? Yeah. <laughs> no. Nah. I feel like I eat out of dog bowl. Wow, I never knew you felt that way. I consider those more a plate, anyway. Plate with edges. Mm. It's a lot of chicken. Okay, that's good for me. And like you said, I might have to get a little more. Okay, so this is your serving. Some... Did you want cheese on it? It's a little late now. Just a little bit, that's fine. <laughs> I didn't even ask. Anyway, then we're gonna put some tortilla chips strips. They're a little bright, but. No problem, yeah, man. Is that enough? You want more? That's fine. Cool. All right, let's get your taste test. Good Lord, we thank you for this food. I don't about to receive it. you bless our food and have it to be for the nourishment of our bodies. God, we also ask that you would help us see in a way that honors our bodies as terms of your Holy Spirit and honor whether we eat or do anything. Do it to your glory. Bring us this in your son's name. Lord Jesus Christ. Should I try to broth first or just an all out bite? Go for it. Is that a smile? No, that's really good. You like it? Yeah. Cool. I hate when I, I don't hate that I say this, I just know it sounds wrong sometimes, but. To say it actually? Better. It tastes better than I thought it would. And it tastes better than I thought it could. Aww. Not from you, but just as I mean, the recipe, chicken chili. The recipe, like following it to a tea, I didn't put, it said to put a certain amount of sour cream in it. I didn't. I ended up putting in like cornstarch because I can't just put a block of sour cream in there. And then I realized it said, cheese? yeah, the cream cheese. It said to put in like a, like it said to use light cream cheese. And I got regular cream cheese. So it's like, I can't put a whole block of that in there. So I put like cornstarch in it. Um, and I use a whole bag of corn instead of just like a cup and a half. I also use like three pounds of chicken instead of one pound. So mm. it was like a good base, but I did, I had to add way more like salt, pepper, but overall, I thought it tasted really good. Yeah, it pretty good. Is it Corey approved? Yeah, there's a certain taste that I'm tasting. I like, but I don't know exactly what it is. So. Perhaps it's coriander? <laughs> I truly don't. I mean, it has a lot of different flavors, but I feel like it has like a Southwest type of taste. Kind of like, you know, I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a heartier version of like a chicken noodle soup. But not really. Like you lost me. Soup. You. It is soup-ish and chicken-ish, but not like... Do you want it to be thicker? It does kind of taste like chili. It does feel like a chili. Well, that's good. I don't good. need it to be thicker. Yeah, it's our first time having a white chicken chili, it. so... It's Chili's little cousin. So, there's that. Well, y'all, we are going to sit down and eat and... Corey just got home from work, so I'm gonna just relax and spend some quality time together because we don't get to spend too much time together during the week. Not as much as we'd like, I guess. Yeah, unless I unless I apply for a job at this school. <laughs> We're not hiring. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this little kind of like mini vlog. I need to chill. I'm kind of tired. So, oh, mm, I need some um, uh, one minute ministry topics that y'all would like to hear about. I've been coming with more than I usual. 
Okay. If you all have any biblical topics you would like to hear Brother Corey speak on, let me know down below. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.